guys welcome back to another charity shop book haul with me i believe this haul is very fantasy and sci-fi heavy so if that interests you you should probably stick around there is a secondhand bookshop that is very local to us where we went and picked up quite a lot of this stuff he has a great range of sci-fi and fantasy and it was a little gold mine when we went down there for the first time so i have plenty to show you the first book that we picked up was the Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien. Andy has been looking for a nice copy of this. We found this one with this lovely dragon illustration on the front and this cost us a pound. This wasn't from the bookshop, I can't remember where we picked this up, but very happy with that. A lot of these now are from that bookshop. So I managed to find, I was so excited when I found this, uh, I found book one of Mistborn by Brandon Sanderson, which is the final empire. I love the covers on this i love the blue and the white and yeah this cost me two pound as you know we are trying to collect a lot of the robin hobb series and we hit the jackpot so we got the golden fool by robin hobb with like the old style cover we got the mad ship which is book two of the live ship traders uh with very old faded cover i think we paid 50p each for all of these we got book one of the live ship traders ship of magic again with the very old cover but obviously very faded also and we got book one of the farcia trilogy assassin's apprentice again in that old style cover i really like the spines on these we got another terry pratchett discworld novel which is hogfather i also managed to pick up I found a point horror that I didn't have yet. This is The Bride. Point horror is just a collection of horror stories written by different authors aimed at teenagers, I believe, or young adults. And my grandma used to pick these up from charity shops for me when I was younger. So I have bought a bundle of these from eBay. And they're very short, large text, very easy to read. It's like less than 200 pages i do like just picking one of these up in between other books also i managed to find book seven of the wheel of time a crown of swords again it's one of those with the old cover art i love finding like the old cover art books not sure what we paid for this i don't think it would have been any more than a pound we found the wish song of shannara by terry brooks i think this might have completed the series for us can't remember we also managed to find fool's errand which is book one of the tawny man in the robin hobb series very happy with all of the robin hobb we managed to find also from that bookshop we found they had a lot of dune the one dune book we have not been able to find is dune the first dune book it's like impossible to find we did find a copy of it one time but it was very damaged and so we didn't pick it up and Andy has regretted that ever since because he's never found another copy since. So we managed to find God Emperor of Dune, sequel to the Dune trilogy, Children of Dune by Frank Herbert, Hunters of Dune by Brian Herbert and Kevin J. Anderson. Again, these were all like 50p from that little bookshop. We also found Heretics of Dune and we found Dune Messiah. That one came from Cat Protection for a pound. This one's got a bit of Teller tip holding it together. Moving away from that bookshop, we also found Hyperion by Dan Simmons. But yeah, that's just one that Andy picked up and he picked that up for a pound. Next up, we managed to find another of the Town of French books. I think this was the last book that we needed to complete the series. And this is Fearful Place. Andy was very excited when he found this because he'd been looking for ages and he couldn't find it. Next up for £1.99p, I managed to find A Whole New World, Twisted Tales book, and Part of Your World, A Twisted Tale. I have again duplicated, I now have two of this book. Because I already had it and I hadn't made a note and now I have two. And also in this haul we managed to find book 11 of The Wheel of Time, Robert Jordan, Knife of Dreams in hardback. This one cost us £3 very happy with that another chunky book that we managed to pick up was the complete tales and poems of edgar Allan poe this is a huge book and this one cost one pound 95 so there's over 800 pages in here 
we've got some different genres now. We have been looking for our copy of this book for four months. We've never found a single copy of this book. And then we found two copies of this book in the same day. And we bought both. That's how we roll. So we managed to pick up It by Stephen King. We've got the white copy with the creepy clown on the front, Pennywise. And we also got the black copy that has the little boy and the balloon on the front. I think this one is my favourite. We managed to find both of them for a pound in two different shops in the same town. And we're so happy. We could even dual read this. We could buddy read this uh, because we have two copies. So looking forward to reading that one. That is a hard book to track down. You would think there would be so many copies of it that it would be easy to find, but I think the problem is that if anyone finds the copy, they're buying it. So we got very lucky and <laughs> we found two. Next up, I managed to pick up Girl, Woman, Other by Bernadine Everista. I've seen other people mention this. I'm not really sure what it's about. I've just been seeing it circulating and that was enough to make me pick it up. This was a pound uh, and the back of the book says this is Britain as you've never read it. This is Britain as it has never been told. From the top of the country to the bottom across more than a century of change and growth and struggle and life. Girl Woman Over follows 12 very different characters on an entwined journey of discovery. It is future, it is past, it is fiction, it is history. It is a novel about who we are now. I also picked up The Vanishing Half by Britt Bennett. And this one says, Stella and Desiree are identical twins growing up together in a small southern black community. Until age 16, they run away. Years later, everything about their lives is different. Their families, communities and racial identities. One sister lives with her black daughter in the same southern town she once tried to escape. The other sister secretly passes as white and her husband knows nothing of her past. Still separated by many miles and just as many lies, the fates of the twins remain intertwined what will happen in the next generation when their own daughter's storylines intersect? I think this sounds really interesting. I can't wait to read this one. Uh, and this was a pound. Next up, I managed to find A Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab. I was very happy to find this. It was a pound. I only found the first one. There are two more books to this. This is a trilogy. I don't know much about it. I know it has magic and I think it's based in London. Oh yeah, there's like different versions of London, parallel universes, and it's magical. I've heard good things about this. I know a lot of people really like this series, so very, very happy to have found that and hoping to be able to find book two and book three as well. Next up, I found these two books. They were a pound each. Uh, they're part of a series. I think it might be four books in this series, but they just looked interesting. I don't know if they're self-published, but it says a bone secrets novel so we have chilled and hidden so it says 11 years ago the co-ed slayer murdered nine female college students on the oregon state university campus lacey campbell barely survived his attack but he killed her best friend suzanne whose body was never found now a forensic odontologist Analyzing teeth and bones for the state medical examiner, Lacey is devastated when she identifies Suzanne's remains at a crime scene. She finds comfort in the arms of ex-cop Jack Harper and sparks fly between them as a new reign of terror begins. Someone is killing the witnesses who sent the co-ed slayer to prison a decade ago. All the evidence points to the co-ed slayer as the culprit, only he's long since dead. So who's the new killer? And is Lacey next in line to die? The front says a page turning blend of romance thrills and danger. I just thought they sounded interesting. Um, so I think this might be book one and two. And so I'll see how I get on with those. Next up, we found a very nice hardback copy of Ernest Hemingway, A Farewell to Arms. This again is another one that Andy's picked up. I don't really know much about this. Next up, I was very happy with this. I found this lovely hard book copy of The Book of Dust. So this is Philip Pullman, he did his Dark Materials, I believe this is another fantasy, I think it's a duology. So this is volume two and this cost a pound. This next one is my favourite find. I found a copy in hardback for a pound of Strange the Dreamer by Leonie Taylor in amazing condition and it's just beautiful like when i saw this i got so excited 
Lainey Taylor also wrote the Daughter of Smoke and Bone series, which I haven't read yet, but I do have them. But I'm so happy to find this. And because I had found such a nice copy of this, I went and bought the second one. This didn't come from a charity shop, but I managed to find a copy of Muse of Nightmares with the matching style cover and it just happened to come with spread edges and it's a first edition which I did not realise when I bought it. It was like the only one left on Amazon in hardback from some bookstore and I got it. I'm very very happy, like so happy that I found Strange to Dream It in the charity shop and then so happy that I was able to get the second book on Amazon. So I'm very very happy with those. In the same shop where I found Strange Dreamer, Andy picked up two fantasy hardback books. These are by Sharon Penman. So we have Falls, The Shadow, and The Reckoning. These again look very old. They have got protective covers on them. They look like they've been kept in very nice condition. And last of all, for this haul, uh, Andy managed to find another two Terry Pratchett books. We have The Last Continent and Thief of Time. That is everything that we got. I really hope you enjoyed this video guys. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I will see you next time.